Hi everyone, my name is Smita and I'm a solutions architect working with Amazon Web Services and today I'm going to show you how you can use Amazon Code Artifact to manage your private NPM packages so that you could share them within your organization effectively. We'll also have a small demo at the end explaining all of this. So without further ado, let's see how that works. So before starting with the demo, I also quickly want to talk about the CICD process. So we have these different stages in a CICD process. We start off with authoring the code where we actually write our code. And there are many steps you can take to ensure that your code is written in a way that will benefit the pipeline um, from security to um, better readability and things like that. The next stage is the source slash artifact stage. And in this stage, um, your developers are spending most of their time. They're writing code, they're getting it reviewed. And once the code is ready to be checked in, it is committed to a repository. And sometimes that repository may also function as an artifact to a wider application. The third stage, stage is build and test. Um, the name suggests where it is where your code gets built and your code gets tested um, before deploying it to production. And then once the deploy is done to production, we have the last stage and that is the monitor where you actually monitor your, um, your code for uh, performance, you monitor your code for security and things like that. Um, so now I also want to quickly talk about which AWS services actually help you in the entire pipeline. So from the three stages in between source artifact to deploy, we have something called as code pipeline. So Code Pipeline is a continuous delivery service you can use to actually model, visualize, and automate the steps required to release your software. So in all these three stages, you can effect effectively use Code Pipeline. Um, for authoring for or authoring or writing the code, we have a um, service called as Amazon Code Whisperer, which is actually an AI-powered productivity tool specially designed for programmers. And it actually works like a plugin, which, in, which you install in your IDE. And while you're typing in code, Code Whisper is taking, taking the context of the file and offering you um, code suggestions um, in real time. We have Cloud9 in Author as well, because Cloud9 is a cloud IDE where you can just uh, launch that in your AWS console and you can start typing in code. In source slash artifacts stage, we have um, code commit to start off. So code commit is a fully managed source control service that hosts secure Git based repositories. We have code artifact. So code artifact, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in coming slides, but it is a fully managed artifact uh, repository solution. Then we have Amazon ECR or ECR public. And it is uh, basically a fully managed Docker container registry that makes it very easy to store, share, and deploy container images. And in the source stage, stage we also have uh, Amazon Code Guru, which is a developer tool that provides um, intelligent recommendations to improve code quality and identify um, the application's most expensive lines of code. In build and test stage, we have code build. So it is a fully managed um, continuous integration service that actually compiles source code, run te runs tests, and produces software packages that are ready to deploy. Again, in the deploy stage, we have AWS Code Deploy, which is a fully managed deployment service that automates software deployments to a variety of compute services, such as Amazon EC2, AWS Fargate, AWS Lambda, and your own um, on-premise service. And in Monitor, we have services like X-Ray, CloudWatch, and DevOps Guru, which helps you monitor the monitor your your um, your changes. So let's understand what Code Artifact is, because this session is actually for Code Artifact, right? So um, Code Artifact is a fully managed artifact repository service. Um, it works very well with Maven and Gradle, um, with npm yarn with pip and twine and with nuget as well again as most of our services it is pay as you go with no upfront license fees and it also supports cross cross account access and it supports encryption so um, 
all packages stored in core artifact are encrypted in transit using TLS and at rest using AES-256 symmetric um, key encryption. Next, let, let's talk about how, how code artifact works. So here on the left, we have public artifact repositories. This could be your npm.js, it could be your Maven Central uh, and things like that, where you run an um, basically from where you are pulling uh, these packages. So when you run pip install or npm install, it pulls these, it pulls it from these endpoints, right? Now in code artifact, basically in your account, um, we'll have something called as a domain. So the domain is nothing but um, logical grouping of these different uh, repositories. And um, it provides, it, it actually provides a kind of boundaries to these repositories. So with domain actually uh, makes it easier to manage multiple repositories across your organizations. And in the right hand side, we can pull dependencies in development. So this could be your um, developer, developers pulling in dependencies or the entire CI CD uh, pipeline pulling in the dependencies. It can also do push and pull both, right? So you are, let's say you are, um, there is a developer or there is a team who is managing certain packages for the entire um, entire uh, organization, they can also kind of push and pull packages directly from your core artifact repositories. So this is not only for the public uh, packages, you can also maintain your internal set of packages or um, artifacts. So let's say your team X is uh, maintaining um, a package where, uh, which is actually used for other teams that can easily be stored in, in code artifact and a code artifact will be the center center point of, of storing all these packages and other teams can directly integrate with code artifact to actually pull in um, that package and successfully using it in their uh, application that's the basis of our demo today so what we are going to see in our demo is something that, like this so we have a team a who are basically the service owners and they'll be pushing the dependencies to, to code artifact in an artifact repository. And then we have team B who are application developers who need this um, package for their application development. And they would be pulling in the dependencies directly from code artifact. So we'll see that now how it works with NPM. Okay, so let's have a look. So, um, I am in my AWS console and I am in AWS code artifact. So if you go to my um, repositories over here, you can see that I don't have any repositories. So let's create one for team A to push their packages. So I'll create one quickly. I'll name it as my test repo. Just do next. Um, yeah, at the moment, since, as I mentioned before, right, code or artifact supports cross, cross account access, but just for the simplicity, I'm, I'm going to use only this account. Let me name, give a domain name. And probably that's it. I'll just create my repository. So now that the repository is created, I just want to quickly show you the code as well. So what we have here is we have team A package. Um, the, so team A is again responsible for um, creating of the package and team B is the team responsible for fetching that package and use that in their app. So team A package, if, if I just you know open that, what we have here is we have a very simple hello world console log that team A is managing and team B is actually just going to use that um, hello world uh, module and then print that hello world in their application. So let's go to bash again. And uh, we are in team B app and let me try to run an npm run display. So this is a very small script I have written where it's just calling that hello world module, right? So I'll just run it. Um, and since it doesn't have that module, it's gonna give me some error. Let's see. So yeah, it's saying module not found. So let's see how we can use code artifact to get that module. Okay, so um, we are in the in our 
uh, repository. So basically what we have to do is manage that connection first. So let's go to view connection instructions and then I'll choose Mac and Linux and then I'll choose here NPM. And then it's going to give me some um, configuration method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the second one, which is push and pull from your repository. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to copy this. So, so what we're doing is we are going to pass that configuration, copy that configuration and put it, put it in our .npm rc file. And you know, it also says that if npm rc file doesn't exist, you can just create one. That's, that's all fine. So uh, let me go back to my code and I've just, ha I have npm rc file, doesn't have anything at the moment. So I'm just going to copy that um, connection link here. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my um, code artifact and I'm just going to copy this line here. So what it's doing is it's just getting me that authentication token to connect to code artifact and then and then saving it and um, saving that authentication token in an export variable. So I'll run this in my bash here. So let me run this. So let's see what is the value of uh, our code artifact auth token. So it has some value, which is good. Let me clear this up a little. And now let me go to my um, team A is um, creating that package for me. So at the moment, there is nothing in code artifact repository, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run npm publish. So that team A's package is now getting published to core code artifact using the connection link uh, that we added in the uh, npm rc file. So now it says that it is publishing to, NP, to, to this particular uh, endpoint. Let's see if we have an artifact in code, art, code, code artifact. So I'll just do a refresh here. And now you see that the team A package is there. Okay. Now let's go back to our bash and I'll just go to team B now. So I'm in team B who's, uh, who's going to use this package, right? So let me just do an NPM install here first because I need to fetch that package from the code artifact. And that is done. And now if I run npm run display, let's see if that hello world gets printed or not. And yes, the hello world is getting printed. And um, if I just go back to my code and I'll show you how the package lock.json looks. So you see that the package is being fetched from um, my code artifact repository, right? This is the this is the, the endpoint that it's fetching the package from. Okay, so that was a quick demo. Hope you liked it. Hope you can use code artifact with NPM directly managing your internal uh, packages as well. Thank you.